Hello everyone, this is Miros Gaming, and today I'll be doing something different. I haven't really made uh, anything similar to this before, but uh, I recently saw a video of PewDiePie's, so here's my shot. Today I'll be addressing one of PewDiePie's recent videos about Ryan's toy reviews. Now, first of all, I want to mention before I even get into any of this, uh, this video isn't meant as some kind of PewDiePie exposed video or, or anything similar like that. Uh, I actually watch PewDiePie and enjoy his content, so I just want to put that out there. And uh, with all that being said, let's get right into the video. So as you might be aware, PewDiePie has recently uploaded a video titled The 5 year old that will surpass PewDiePie. Now there are several parts to the video and the one I'll be addressing is about when Felix straight up hints at Ryan's Toy Reviews view botting by comparing some of his own videos to Ryan's Toy Reviews having similar amounts of views but what most would consider drastically different viewer engagement. And based off of only this, Felix concludes and wants the people watching his video to conclude that Ryan's Toy Reviews gets ungenuine views or in other words is basically view botting. Have you ever seen a video with 11 million views and 9,000 likes? Please direct me to that video because it doesn't exist. These are not real people. These are not real views. There's only a thousand comments. Take a video where I had 11 million views. It got 22,000 comments. 22,000? 1,000. Most viewed video has 600 million views. What the fuck? What the app? Excuse me. What the actual fuck? What the fuck? That's more than half than Call Me Maybe. Or you say, like, everyone in the entire fucking world should know who this kid is. I bet you most of you who've seen this video have no fucking clue. How do you get that amount of views? I've also recently seen Scarce cover a story on this, um, also concluding that basically Ryan's Toy Reviews is doing something shady and probably view botting. I think he's actually one of the top, if not the number one, most viewed YouTuber every single month on YouTube. So USA Today and other big publications like The Verge are calling him the biggest YouTuber right now. So PewDiePie got pretty pissed off about this and he made his new video on Ryan's Toys Reviews and he says in this video that Ryan's Toys Reviews actually could be faking some of his views. He could be paying for some of his views and he thinks that some of Ryan's Toys Reviews views are not actually legit because if you look at some of his videos, he makes like 12 million views on some videos and only 9,000 likes. Who the fuck makes 12 million views and 9,000 likes? Like every video that I have with over, you know, a couple million views usually has over 100,000 likes. This dude made 9,000 likes on a video with 12 million views. It's really sketch. And so in another part of his video, he shows two articles from Talking Tech and The Verge. And he's criticizing them for not including his point of them view botting in their article but at the same time he's also exposing them for a story that they got wrong on him which was the fake news story that the verge published of supposedly PewDiePie taking money from Warner Brothers for positive game reviews that actually never did happen now I have to say that this is a very hypocritical part of his video so now that you know the background behind this I want to explain how Felix was mistaken in making these accusations. So what I want you guys to see is a video by the gamer from Mars in which the gamer from Mars explains how PewDiePie isn't actually the highest paid YouTuber but Ryan's Toy Reviews is and how Ryan's Toy Reviews gets more views um, and therefore is paid also more. So have a look at the video. Now I know what you may be thinking to yourself. How on earth could a little kid that's just opening up toys on his channel be getting so many views? And the answer to that question is actually pretty simple. Very young children. There's a new generation of toddlers right now that are used to taking their parents' iPad, clicking on the YouTube Kids app, and watching tons of videos on there, including Ryan's toy reviews. With the current YouTube algorithm, it's extremely good to get a high audience retention rate on a video. And guess what group of people watch a video all the way through? young children, and they're also known to watch a video over and over again, which makes it more successful in the YouTube ratings. 
So the gamer from Mars explains that PewDiePie isn't the number one most paid YouTuber, but Ryan's toy reviews is, because of how well his channel's audience fits the YouTube algorithm for making money. Basically, regarding minutes watched, viewer retention, and also coming back multiple times. Furthermore, the logical point can be made of why the hell would a channel this big earning so much revenue take the risk or even bother to bot their views. So on to my next point. In the video which I just showed you, you probably heard that children are the primary audience of Ryan's toy reviews. And this is the main point of my argument in improving why PewDiePie was actually wrong to say this. Me included, I don't think many teenagers would watch Ryan's toy reviews on a daily basis. But small kids with endless amounts of time watch Ryan's toy reviews on their tablets on the YouTube application known as YouTube Kids. Now you guys can be the judges and come to your own conclusion of the following question and let me know what you guys think of this. But do you believe that kids from the ages of 1 through 9 are bothered to leave a like or a dislike um, on Ryan's Toy Reviews videos? Or better yet, write Ryan's Toy Reviews a nice comment of how much they enjoyed his video, with the majority of his audience being illiterate or not very fluent in writing. Heck, I doubt 90% of them even know those features exist let alone being able to use them. Anyways, I think you guys see now why I believe that it was somewhat hypocritical of Felix to make that statement in his video, accusing that channel of viewbotting, of how just like The Verge took, a, took and spread misinformation about PewDiePie and him complaining about it in a video, the same video in which he did the exact same thing to Ryan's toy reviews. So that's just uh, what I believe and what I found out. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video. Let me know what you think. M you know, maybe I I'm completely wrong. Everyone has the right to their own opinion. I'm just showing the dangers of just jumping to conclusions. Um, I actually don't think PewDiePie did that intentionally. I actually think that he saw those two articles, he got somewhat upset about them, especially about The Verge and since they published a false article about him in the past. And so then he went over to Ryan's Toy Reviews channel, looked at how he could make fun of it, and then saw the difference in the viewer engagement on the videos. And so of course you can be quick to jump to a conclusion and most people would actually find it pretty weird. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys the background behind it and that he might actually not be right in that statement. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.